All right, now we're going to be looking at uh, Stairway to Heaven. We're going to be looking away at the way Jimmy Page plays it on the studio version. What we're going to do here is I'm going to play you both parts. First part is going to be Stairway to Heaven Part 1. Second part is going to be sec uh, Stairway to Heaven Part 2. It's the intro parts. So when he plays this, when he, pl he plays this part right here, he plays that one time through, well, two times actually, I'll, I'll show you. And then when he goes to this other part, he plays that twice. So first the song starts with flute. They play both parts. And then he starts singing when he starts he, uh, um, <clears throat> on the uh, second part. Um, and it's, there's a lady who's sure is the uh, first line that Robert Plant sings. So let's look at it. And so, well, we're going to start with that in the A minor in the fifth position. And we're going to be using uh, four strings. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be holding down three strings, uh, strings one, two, and three with our first finger. And we're going to be holding down the fourth string on fret seven uh, with our third finger. And it's just going to start like this. And it's that easy. And then we're going to go to the second chord. Now when he switches to the second chord, uh, he will be putting, he puts his uh, second finger on uh, the string four, fret six. The little finger is now going to go on string one, uh, fret seven. And what he, he plucks those two strings, one and four, at the same time. So when he goes into that, and then he hits string number two and three, and then he changes chords and he's going to repeat this process. So the next chord will be, uh, you're going to hold down uh, on fifth fret again, you're, but you're going to add the fourth string. You're going to be holding down uh, strings four, three, and two with this finger. The little finger is going to move to string eight. And you're going to hit that. Okay, so let's review that. Here's how he goes into the song. And then he's going to hit that first chord we talked about, strings two and three. And pluck that again, first four uh, strings four and uh, one. And then he's gonna go to that next chord we talked about. He's gonna once again pluck strings one and four, and then and then he and then he hits uh, two and three accordingly. So here's how that section's gonna go. Now he's gonna switch to a D chord, but he's gonna use the root is not gonna be the open D note, the root's gonna be on the uh, fourth finger here, uh, string four, fret four. And the reason why he does that is to get the uh, uh, chromatic feel of his chords as he's, as he's dropping like this. Okay, and that's ex the exact notes we're gonna use. So uh, once again, the next chord will be that D, and then he once again plucks strings number one and four, and then he hits two and three accordingly like that. And then he's going to finish off with an F major 7. And what that is, is that you're going to have the open E string, which is your major 7 tonality. And then he's going to have uh, finger 1 is on string 2, fret 1. Uh, finger 2 is going to be on string 3, fret 2. And finger 3 is going to be going on string 4, uh, fret 4. And that's... He, so he does something a little different there on this uh, chord. He'll be going like this two note, a two quarter note pause, and then, and then he finishes up with this. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is since we're playing um, this, this, this pattern, we're using our thumb on the uh, fourth string, and then the third, second, and, and first string will be, will be using strings one, fingers one, two, and three. So that's the typical classical uh, method. Um, but then when he goes, when he plays the G, A minor, he shifts these three fingers. These three fingers will shift the strings number four, three, and two. The root note will be played here on the G, so you're going to be doing three open strings on the G with the root note here. And then the A, well, you'll be forming the A minor, and then you'll be hitting the A note. So you, first you'll be using the root note on string six, then you'll be using the root note on string five, and that'll go like... So that whole part will go like this. Now, when you play this, there will be a two count pause between that and this uh, line here. So how this will go as far as count, you'll be going, you'll be counting at one, two, three, and then the two counts that are outer is four and one, and then it's gonna go two, three, four, and then that way you're gonna catch one the next time around, one, 
Okay, so here's how that's gonna go. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then you're back into that uh, piece again. That's played twice, so it's played once, you play this between them, and then it's played again. And so, uh, so let's look at that whole part. I'm gonna play it slow, and I'm gonna count it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Um, I think I misspoke earlier. I said there's going to be a two note uh, rest here, but it's a uh, one one quarter note. It goes uh, one, two, three, four. One is the rest. Two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's a one quarter note rest there on your F major seven, and two quarter note rest here is when it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play this uh, regular speed, which is about this. And I'll go ahead and count it off, but then I won't count it while I'm playing it so you can play along. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So there's the end of part one. Uh, we're going to be shooting our video right now for part two, and that will be uh, right away. So please uh, subscribe to our uh, video channel so that you will be getting updates of all the things we do. And uh, once again, look forward to part two. We're videotaping it right now. Uh, practice a lot. Have a great day.